One of my favourite ever um, special effects in films, films is Alien, of course, um, especially when we're talking about the model work and the miniature work. And in that film, one of my very uh, favourite of all miniature works that are in it is a blink and you'll miss it scene, which is Kane's uh, burial in space. And um, as I say, you can barely see it. it uh, a hatch opens, his shroud flies out, and that's it. Um, but I love the model work for it. It's, as usual on Alien, an awful lot of uh, skill and expertise, time and money went on making the effect. And this is what you don't see in the film. This is a close-up of the uh, hatch before Kane is launched out into space. And I believe it was made by Bill Pearson. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's solely by Bill Pearson. Uh, bit spot, kit bit spotters will uh, recognise certain things all over. And I love it. It's a lovely little hatch there, beautifully weathered by Bill. And I've got another shot, which is it on the out of context. And uh, yeah, lovely. And hugely inspirational. I thought I'd have a go. So have a go I did. Um, completely um, and shamelessly cribbing from what Bill did here. Um, this is my one, all right, which uh, was... Uh, Nowhere near as accomplished as that, but it's sort of like a nod to it. Um, and all you've got here is a piece of cardboard. This is just regular cardboard um, with plastic card panels put on um, and the obligatory kit bits. This is from the, um, the Airfix RAF refueling set, a staple um, in uh, Martin Bauer's model pile which he uses quite a bit. Um, yeah, kit bits all over. I don't know if you can see that one up there. I don't want to move this out of the way because you're just going to see the mess behind. So um, yeah, Tamiya bits, Airfix bits. This is all like um, Airfix up here. There's a little 170 second ladder there. As you can see, I'm, as I say, completely copying what Bill did color wise. But I love it, I love it. And I wanted to have a go at making my own version. Now, the hatch itself, which is down in here, um, was the easiest thing to do. As I say, this is cardboard and plastic card. The actual hatch, I can remove and show you what I used. And what I used is one of these things. Yeah, the top, I'll put top on the top so I know it's the top. One of these things, you know, that you didn't get modern, you know, washing uh, those little ball things you put in the washing machine um, and that's all it is it's one of them it's got this brilliant nifty detailing all around the edge and you've got this recess all right so all that is in there is two bits of quite thick plastic card that I cut and put a door in copying down in there one's a bit more elongated some kit pieces some decals Again, RAF refueling set there, Tamiya parts there on that side. Same sort of things again. Okay, so that all goes around there like that. So that's the ins inside of it. Just oh, slots on in. Incredibly cheap. I didn't have to buy anything for it. All the uh, kit bits I already had. Um, and it's just cardboard and, um, yeah, the washing machine thing once it had finished. So there you go. That's my take.